In this lesson, I want to go over something strange, something peculiar about the way web browsers handle text and tags in a page. So let me just show you. It's probably the easiest way to do it. So I'm just going to write text right to the page. Now you notice this text is not inside a paragraph tag. It's just floating on its own inside of the body tag. So let's see what happens. Okay, no big deal. It's uh, what we expected. So I'm going to view source. And here it is. So let's minimize that. So let's do something totally crazy. So we have two lines of text now. You notice that we have a, a line break here, right? So let's see what this looks like in the browser. Oh boy. See, very different. Even though we have a line break in our code, we don't see it here in the web page as the web browser would show us. But even though, look, in our code, it does indeed have a line break. That's part of that strange behavior I talked about, or I just mentioned really, with regards to how browsers treat text in a web page. Whether you have one space like this, or a huge space like this, let me show you again. It doesn't matter. The web browser will ignore all this white space. All the space here will be ignored. And of course, your two lines of text will be squished up together. It will look like this. So the solution, of course, is to use tags. So let's get rid of this. And we're going to put it in three paragraphs. Now let's preview this. And you see our, free, our three paragraphs. After each paragraph, right, there is a line break. Now let's try something else. I'm just going to clear these out. So let's get rid of the line break in our code. So everything is squished up right beside each other, right? Look at that. No spaces between our paragraphs in the code. We'll save that. Preview in browser. Ah, look at that. Still, there is a line break, you see? Even though in our code, you can see it's all squished up. So what does that tell you? It tells you that the paragraph tag is affecting the way our text is formatted or positioned in the page. It's kind of basic, but nonetheless, it's useful to know. So when you add text in a paragraph, after the paragraph, you're going to have automatically this separation, this line break that we see here, the line break, the line break. And that's just the way that the paragraph tags work. What you're going to see in HTML is that each tag that we use is going to have a particular effect on the page. The good thing, they're all pretty similar. There's some differences here and there, which you're going to learn along the way as we continue in the lessons. But I just want you to understand how the tags have affected the way the text is displayed in the page. And now you see why we can't just put text like this because we look at it, it's all going to be squished up like this.